Horsetails is proudly brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. South Carolina, a true leader in the equine industry. Folks, we got a very historical, fun show lined up today. We're in Williamsburg County in the heart of Cedar Swamp. And Wiley, I'll let you explain to the folks what we're doing right here. Well, my little horse is rearing to go. We're going to do some lancing. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to do some stick horse racing. I think my horse is in better shape than yours. Well, folks, old Petey Cowboy come up kind of hard, you know what I'm saying? So I do know which end the head is and which end poop, but he's going to be riding hard today, Wiley. Well, David, it looks like it's a big family fun event out here. We're going to practice lancing, so we'll be ready for the tournament because I understand we're going to try and uh, compete against these hardcore lancers, right? Absolutely. I've become friends with a lot of folks down here, and they've invited me the past two years, and I was dressed like a cowboy. But, folks, when you see us in the actual tournament, we're going to be the Knight of PD. And who are you going to be? I'm going to be Lady Bell of Marlboro. Very good. So, folks, we got some good action and a lot of historical information coming your way. Horse Tales is being brought to you today by Morrell Tire Service. Right on in and see Richard and his fine family of technicians to take care of your automotive needs. By Nationwide, and folks, you know when the PD Cowboy rides, he rides with Nationwide on his side. Ken Law Supermarket, Fayetteville, North Carolina, featuring a full line of Carolina Fresh three-pack frozen poultry program. 2014 is the year of the horse. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture is working to promote your horses and your business. We are working to open new areas for trail use and to let the public know how important horses are. South Carolina has world-class horses and horse people. From race horses to show horses, we have the best. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture, letting people know how important horses are. Folks, the PD Cowboy arrives for the brand, and my brand is Carolina Fresh Foods. We have a new product out on the range, so ride on into your local Piggly Wiggly or other fine retailer and ask for Carolina Fresh Premium Lick Order. And folks, if they don't have one in the crowd, tell them to get cracking and call the old PD Cowboy and his elite posse of chicken wranglers. Carolina Fresh Foods, the name says it all. We are Fresh Delicious. There once was a hungry road that wouldn't let drivers get very far. It wore out their tires, forcing them to buy new ones time and time again. And along came the Michelin Man who proved the right tire changes everything. With long-lasting tires in place, those drivers were back on the road to saving money. Michelin Hydro Edge tires last up to 33,000 miles longer. Michelin, a better way forward. When you hear the name Earnhardt, you might not immediately think of farming. But my family's been at it for years, just like Nationwide Agribusiness. In fact, they're the number one farm insurer in the nation. And with their On Your Side Farm Review, you get a personalized policy for your farm with the coverage you need at the right price for you. My family's trusted Nationwide for more than 30 years. To find out why, call your Nationwide Agribusiness agent today. Folks, join me now, and it's quite a privilege, and I have to admit I'm a little nervous. I'm sitting here with a living legend, Mr. Murray McRae. <laughs> Every time I'm in King Street, I run by the tack shop there, and we get talking horses and Marsh tackies and Lansing. And you see right here, we don't have this for self-defense. This is some old, old uh, Lansing lances. And Mr. Murray, I know you didn't make these, but you have made a plenty, or your dad has, right? I never did, but my father did. Would you tell us a little bit what it takes to make a lance? I take, well, in that early days, we made them out of real fence. Oh, uh, we had a lot of real fence down instead of what we didn't have any wire, so we used real fence out of these big woods to keep cattle in. And he would get the lances and make them with this drawing knife and a little plan and a drill. He drilled this hole in here with a little drill, and he put that pin on up there, and the end of it is out of this little plastic. And a man charged him $5 to put the pin on it, and he didn't get but $10 for making the whole lance. <laughs> so 
he didn't make me five dollars for a lance. And, the, and he draw it with this thing here, draw a knife and a little little plan. I still got the little plan that he get it down like he wanted, and then he would get this man to put the point on it for it. But all of them were made out of fat lighter that one time, and that lance had to balance from the pin, five foot from pin to point. And you could not, if you rode with it in there close to, you, they would call you out. But this lance had to ride just like this. So there were rules of how you held it. Yeah. Now a lot of them held it like that. I think Al Epps and maybe Ray held it something like that. But 90% of the people held it like that. And it's in total balance right there. But you had to have it. If it wasn't, you had to keep working it till you got it to where it would balance from pin to point. And uh, that was the biggest thing that they checked you when you went to a licensing team where they put the rule on it or the tape measure to see if you were legal. And it had to be five foot from point to pin. But all of them at one time were made out of fat lighter. Nowadays, I think they build them out of different things. Right. Like them. Now, until you got to be 15 years of age, there was no regulations on it. You could ride with one this long or one back there. But when you become 15 years of age, you had to go to regulations on them. And uh, I see a lot of the older ones today riding with little short ones. That's not the rules. The rules is when you hit 15 years of age, you rode with the grown people. Well, well y'all let me lance last year, so uh, I, was, I had to lie about my age so I could use that one oh. that uh, Rebecca Brown had. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of them do that today. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them today do that. Well, if it's balanced, so it's uh, the the lance is balanced for anybody, right? Once yeah. the, whoever makes it, or it's balanced. Because I know when I was asking about lancing, it, I could have run off of somebody's wife better than I could have used their lance. I didn't lend mine either. <laughs> your wife or your lance? Uh, Both. Neither, neither one. <laughs> <laughs> well, she knew better than leaving it, you know, the lion stripping. <laughs> but uh, we were in Clemson, and mine, I started off with a real light one. And if I hit that ring wrong, didn't, didn't plumb center it, it would do that. So there. Uh, I was going to miss the next ring if I wasn't particularly because it was still bouncing. So I told my father about it and he said, we'll fix that. So he went and found a, 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 another rail and he built me a heavier one. It was lighter here, but heavier here. And a lot of the lances that didn't balance, they put lead in the back of them to balance them back here. But okay. they didn't care how much you had back here, but this had to be rude. And he built me one that had a, a bow in it. And the pin cocked up just a little bit. And I don't know how many lances I won with it, but I didn't miss many of them. And we were in Clemson, and he had us in a ring there showing us, and we was trying to tell him what we were do, going to do. And this little boy said, Mr. Would you mind if I look at your lance for a minute? And I just done that away, and he didn't do a thing but rip my point back. I couldn't get a ring with that lance after that to save my life. So Ray's father told me, so said, I can fix that lance. So he took that end off of it and put another end on it. Well, I went back to winning again. And I won 42 first place on that gray horse you see on that picture. <laughs> well, well, folks, that's what we're doing down here in the heart of Cedar Swamp. And Mr. Murray threw in a not a bad joke about the goat. But we're going to uh, play around, have some games here. And they have been super nice to me trying to, I've got a pretty good horse that I've been lancing on. And I don't know if I ever will learn how to do it like these guys, but it's been a privilege sitting here with a living legend. What made America great, folks. Thank you, Mr. Murray. <laughs> That's a, thank you. Folks, as you know, me and Wiley's down here in Cedar Swamp training for the upcoming Lansing tournament. But you see, Miss Ruthie Brown, they pull out all stops. They got stick horses, a lot of games for them. That's what, folks, that's why you know why I just say America's great. This is what it's all about. Going out here and having a great time. We're, like, so we're getting ready to uh, train a little bit, but having a good time. And after that, we're going to have some good old Perlo. So, hey, I know you can smell it because I can. Horse Tales is being brought to you today by. Carolina Fresh Foods, folks, we are Fresh Delicious. Equestrian Images, making memories together. 
by the South Carolina Agricultural Department. It's a matter of taste. Folks, the PD Cowboy arrives for the brand, and my brand is Carolina Fresh Foods. We have a new product out on the range. So ride on into your local Piggly Wiggly or other fine retailer and ask for Carolina Fresh Premium Liquor. And folks, if they don't have one in the corral, tell them to get cracking and call the old PD Cowboy and his elite posse of chicken wranglers. Carolina Fresh Foods, the name says it all. We are fresh delicious. 2014 is the year of the horse. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture is working to promote your horses and your business. We are working to open new areas for trail use and to let the public know how important horses are. South Carolina has world-class horses and horse people. From race horses to show horses, we have the best. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture, letting people know how important horses are. The South Carolina Horsemen's Council is the voice of the Palmetto State's equine industry. The South Carolina Horsemen's Council primary purpose is to provide information to the general public, the media and government agency about issues and activities that impact the South Carolina equine community. If you are a horse owner in the state of South Carolina, you need to be a member of the South Carolina Horsemen's Council so we can have a voice about equine issues in our state. For more information, go to schorsecouncil.org. Folks, we're in now the Sir Knight of Cage, Al Brown, Lancer Extraordinaire. Folks, he's going to uh, try to get me and Wiley started in the right direction here with Lance. We was down here last weekend working it a little bit, and we did pretty good, so he's going to take it slow and easy with us. All right, Al. All right. Well, you just get your horse out here and walk him around, and, and you kind of get him coming at an angle, or you come in and get him on his left leaf. All right. And then when you, you're angling into the track, and when, when you turn, you lean in with your horse, and let's go straight, straight down. So, and when you go through, you want that ring right on your left, right hand shoulder. And like last week, we walking, make sure that our horses relax and yep. each time. And, do, right. and, and it's all about the details. You got to do the same thing every time. You come down here and your horse knows what he's supposed to do and you know what you could do. And if, if you get him, if you get your horse straight before you pick your lance up, that's when you got it. So your horse knows how to pray, Al? Your horse knows how to play. Okay, I got you. You got that, Wiley? Because <laughs> well, it's good that he can pray because I ain't got a prayer. <laughs> but, uh, but your horse has got to get used to you and you used to your horse. And if you do the same thing every time, he knows what to do. And when you get through this last pool, you got to keep going down about 25 yards before you start stopping. If you don't, your horse is going to start stopping at this pool. So once you pass this pool, you go down about 25 yards before you start doing anything. And then you start stopping. Well, last week, we did this uh, numerous times where we, you ever let me pick the lance up, and it oh, went yeah. downhill from there. Well, that's what you got to do. You got to get your horse going first. And, uh, you know, don't tell anybody, but it's over half the horse. Oh, half the horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, there might be hope for me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, watch this. So when you come through, you are telling me to run the horse on out, and when you're practicing, yep. you can go right one time, left That's one right. time, and don't say whoa to your good pat. Good. That's right. Don't say whoa to you get to at least 25 yards past the last post. And turn to the left one time, and then turn to the right, so he doesn't start ducking in at the last post. Right. So he'll, he can, he'll try to figure yeah, it out. That's right. That's right. Well, which way are we going now? We're going to go back in uh, step two, right? Yeah, we'll go back and we'll jog them through. So you're going about 80 yards, and uh, you got to make it in six seconds. Okay. A pretty good clip. A pretty good clip. And the faster your horse runs, the smoother it is. So, I mean, you got to let your horse go. And uh, That's what I didn't do last weekend. Yeah, that's what you didn't do. And you got to get your stirrups down a little bit where you can get out the saddle about four inches. Right. And just enough to clear him, and then you're riding on your feet. Nothing touching the horse but your feet. Usually when I get out the saddle, it's unintentional, Al. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in actual tournament, is this the size ring you start yeah, with? Yep, this will be a two-inch ring. 
Okay. And then we'll drop down the inch and a half. That is if you win and get a tie, right? That's right. Yep. And, uh, you just... and also, you can adjust the height. See, if yeah. I do this enough, which I haven't, and uh, I say I want it on 10, 9, or 8, you explain that yep. to me when I... Well, the height of your horse and the height of you when you're standing out the saddle fluctuate with the size of the horse and the size of the man or woman. And uh, you can adjust your pools in one to nine, I think, one to 10. And you can adjust the height so, so you're sitting level when you're going through that. Right. All right, so when, tell me again. I know uh, we've explained that, so what I got, kind of show the folks how high, the position you're in when you go. Well, when you're going down there through, you're holding your lines in one hand and you got your lance and you, you're just riding like that off of your horse and just riding like this, getting the ring. Because that's one thing I've uh, lanced uh, enough to know I'm no good at it, but I've, I've got to get the technique right, but I think I've got, I feel awkward every time I have the lance. Well, once, so, once you get it, once your horse knows what to do and you just turn him loose. I mean, I'm not doing anything. And you can lean with him. He'll go with you when you lean and he'll, he'll learn to do that. Need to, Simpson, <laughs> learn how to recite the Lord's Prayer, and we might just do it. Folks, it's, this is easier said than done. Wiley, come on up here, don't we? Not, not, last year, an old cowboy was here by, by himself, and uh, we we looking like cowboys, but folks, we've got the equipment coming. Al, just give me a hat. I look like a cockamania cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> but I got me some black boots and some white shirt. I'm going to look the part, folks. Well, Wiley, you come last weekend, what do you think? It's tougher than it looks. You think, okay, you can just jab that spear right through those rings, but as Al said, you know, you got to go fast. You got to get through this course in six seconds, and that's going pretty pretty quick on a horse. Well, folks, I kind of was poking fun at myself, but I'm going to get a little serious here. Wiley has come aboard as my co-host. She's my kind of like my stepdaughter. But she's trained this little horse right here. He's three years old. Uh, probably got, what, 45 days on him riding. She brought him out last week. You tell the folks how he did, Wally. Well, he did great. Um, you know, this is a lot to take in for a young horse. And, um, you know, and I'm carrying a, a weapon, basically. So I've got to have <laughs> a lot of confidence that I've trained him well, that I'm not going to spear him or myself. But he's done. he's doing really great. And she's really come a long way in a short time, too. That horse will be ready by the two. Well, what makes a lancing horse? I mean, I've gotten to know you two years now, and you're you're one of the better horsemen that I met. So, what makes a, a good lancing horse? A good horse is mainly one that's got a brain in his head, <laughs> and he'll run down there wide open, go to the other end, drop his head, and come back. Doesn't get upset, you know. Not like a barrel horse or a thoroughbred. It really gets hot. You don't want anything like that. And I think that's why the Marsh Tacky is so good for what we're doing. And uh, that's the key to it. Just, the horse doesn't get upset, and you don't get upset. Well, tell us about. Uh, I think Rebecca called him a, a little little elephant last yeah, weekend. Baby elephant. Yeah. Baby elephant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you were uh, Lance for years when I met you on Ranger. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So uh, why did you switch over to well, the Ranger, baby elephant? Ranger got to be 20 years old, and he was too old to do it. And Rebecca started riding this horse to start with. And he's okay. He's a little bit rough, but if you get out the saddle, you can still do it. And uh, but he's all right. Doesn't get upset. And I'm at the age I don't want him to get upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's ease on past here and go to see what else we can get into. <laughs> He'll get used to it. And he'll... But so that's what uh, that's what I'm uh, not doing. Not doing, no, and I'm getting used to it because you got to grab his mane. He'll, he'll, he'll go. He'll yeah. go fast. He'll go fast. That's yeah. right. Matter of fact, a lot faster than I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long does it take uh, when you bring a when you brought uh, what's your horse's name? Rocky. Rock. When you brought Rocky out here, how long did it take to? Uh... It took him about a year. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, but you know, a good horse, you can do it. Call how much you ride him. You ride him every day, you do pretty good. You got that something? But, but, you know, you do all this practicing, but when you get to the tournament and the people, it's a little bit different. They got to get used to that, too. Yeah, so they can blow up. Yeah, they can blow up. All right, what's the next step? 
Let's go through and let them go one time. Oh, okay. You All got right. that, Wally? <laughs> All right, folks, we're Simpson's light like to run. I'm letting him go. Folks, this is a little sucker I've been looking for. And you know what? When I was running down a wide open, it looks about that, about that big. But I, I finally have gotten one of these, but not today. Look at this, David. Look what I got on the end of my lance. There's only one other ring I've gotten in my life that's made me happier than this one right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Where's the LB when you need him? Well, Al, you've done uh, real good with what you had to work with. Uh, you, you sum it up. What do we do right and what we do wrong today? Well, you, you got your horses going in the right direction. Right. I, you get your horse going, then y'all start getting the ring. And y'all y'all got a good foundation. Y'all can do it. Well, I was proud of my little horse today, but, uh, but these two off my stud. So, Al, we got the big tournament coming up. Uh, I've actually ordered some stuff so I can look the part. Got the horse, got the clothes, and, well, I got a long way to go. I do, too, David. That, there's two more rings out there we got to get. <laughs> But Al, if somebody wants to do like you have kind of taken me under and while they there just helping yeah. us out, how can I get in touch with you? Well, they can get in touch with y'all on Facebook, Horse yeah. Tales TV, or they can call Ruthie Brown in King Street. And my name is Al Brown, and my telephone number is 843-687-7465. When you see me again, I'm going to have three of these, folks. Horse Tales is being brought to you today by... King Street Auction Company, the leading auction company in the southeast. Dillon Meat Center, featuring Carolina Fresh Poultry Parts. Ride in and see Douglas and Terry Wayne Jackson today. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. There once was a hungry road that wouldn't let drivers get very far. It wore out their tires, forcing them to buy new ones time and time again. And along came the Michelin Man who proved the right tire changes everything. With long-lasting tires in place, those drivers were back on the road to saving money. Michelin Hydro Edge tires last up to 33,000 miles longer. Michelin, a better way forward. When you hear the name Earnhardt, you might not immediately think of farming. But my family's been at it for years, just like Nationwide Agribusiness. In fact, they're the number one farm insurer in the nation. And with their On Your Side Farm Review, you get a personalized policy for your farm with the coverage you need at the right price for you. My family's trusted Nationwide for more than 30 years. To find out why, call your Nationwide Agribusiness agent today. Folks, the PD Cowboy arrives for the brand, and my brand is Carolina Fresh Foods. We have a new product out on the range. So ride on into your local Piggly Wiggly or other fine retailer and ask for Carolina Fresh Premium Leg Quarter. And folks, if they don't have one in the crowd, tell them to get cracking and call the old PD Cowboy and his elite posse of chicken wranglers. Carolina Fresh Foods, the name says it all. We are fresh delicious. 2014 is the year of the horse. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture is working to promote your horses and your business. 
We are working to open new areas for trail use and to let the public know how important horses are. South Carolina has world-class horses and horse people. From race horses to show horses, we have the best. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture, letting people know how important horses are. Folks, what a wonderful time down here in Cedar Swamp in the heart of Williamsburg County. Wiley? Hey, I've been in a lot of swamps with you, David, but this <laughs> one has actually been enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got a ring and I didn't, but you know, vengeance will be mine. So, so far, this is the second time you Lance, what do you think? It's, it's a really, really fun sport. Um, as I understand, there's not too many women doing it right now, so I hope that I can help represent the women and get some more women out here um, to join Al Brown and his group because they, because they're just really good people to work with. They just take you baby steps and don't try and push you to go too far, too far, too fast. So I really, really enjoyed it, David. Well, folks, you looking at me now as the PD cowboy. When you see us next week, I'm gonna be Knight of the PD, and you're gonna be. Hey, I'm gonna be Lady Belle of Marlboro. Folks, a lot of history down here. Al Brown invited me down to kind of just bring notice that uh, we need some extra interest in, in Lansing. Now, I hope I get this right. McCurdy Rifles. You need to Google that. Bobby and Buddy McCutcheon have got done a lot of work on research of history in Williamsburg County. And I hope I got that right. But you Google it. A lot of history, and if you don't get that, you just drop me an email, horsetailstv.com. Folks, you can read about history down here, Francis Marion and Militia, and these Marsh Tackies you're looking at are descendants of the same type horse. And it was really an honor today to uh, interview Mr. Murray McRae, and they've had Marsh Tackies. So, and one thing I'm gonna find out, Wiley, and you have heard me mention that, why the, the Marsh Tacky's last stronghold was down in Jasper County in Charleston. They kind of went away down here. That's kind of an unanswered puzzle for me, folks, and I'm going to be working on that. So, Wiley, we've had a great time here today. So, you just want to tell the folks what they can expect next week? Well, more adventures with the PD Cowboy. And um, you've mentioned the, the website so people can follow us there, but you can also follow us on Facebook and um, keep up with us all week long. And folks, we have been really blessed with horse tails. We've been thinking about expanding. So if you really want to expand your business, we think about really going national. So if you want to advertise your product, get in touch with us. But we could really, I'm smoking what I'm selling, which is horses, folks. Until next week, keep your reins low and your hands quiet. And today made me realize how really God has blessed this great country of ours. See you next week.